This is LWT, the best days of the week. Now, Family Fortunes. Family fortunes, and tonight's families are Paul, Cassandra, Phil, Trevor, and Alison, the Mackenzie family. And they're playing Eddie, Marlene, Mary, Jeff, and Helen, the Parsonage family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much. Good evening, and welcome to the show. Don't the weeks fly by? We've got another two families hoping to go all the way to big money and win £5,000 and, if they can match the top answers in big money, stand a chance of winning tonight's star prize. Yes, Les, and it's a car with everything. Air conditioning, telephone, push-button controls, and tonight one of our families could be driving home in this fabulous family saloon. All right, let's meet the families. The first family we're meeting tonight are the Mackenzies. Hi, Alison. Hello, Les. How are you? I'm very well, thank Where you. Where have you brought the Mackenzie clan from? <laughs> from Staffordshire. From Staffordshire. Whereabouts? Yeah. Stoke on Trent. Okay. All right then, Alison. Introduce us to the to the clan. Right. This is my husband, Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Les. This is my cousin, North Phil. Hi, Les. Hi, Phil. This is my cousin, Cassandra. Hello, Les. Hi, Cassandra. And this is my cousin, North Paul. Hi, Hi, Paul. Hi, Les. And you have lots of parties. We do. Yeah. We like the New Year's Eve parties. Do you? Yes, we do. How long does that go on? Well, for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So you get together for a lot of parties. Yes, we do. Is that how you met at a party? Uh, yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't ask any more. <laughs> <laughs> go on, I'm going to. <laughs> how did you meet? Well, uh, um, initially we met at college. Yeah. And we didn't like each other. Didn't you? Why? No. What was wrong, Trev? Well, I just thought she was stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah. And was she? <laughs> yeah. <at the> yeah. Time. <laughs> she was. Okay, that's the Mackenzies. Let's go over and meet the Parsonages. <laughs> Eddie. Hello, Les. The Parsonage family. Where have you come from? We've come from Surrey, Les. Surrey. Whereabouts in Surrey? In Hawley. Hawley. I don't know yeah. that. Is that where's that? It's just by Gatwick Airport. Gatwick Airport. Gatwick okay. Airport. Introduce us to the family, Eddie. Right, uh, Les. This is my wife, Marley. Hello, Les. Hello, Marley. <laughs> That's a lovely bright. Hello. Hello, Marley. I've been practicing. Have you? <laughs> At least you said Les and not Des. Well. That's what normally happens. <laughs> Go on, Eddie, the rest of the family. My sister, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Les. Oh, that was a bit more subdued. She was a bit more like Les. Hello, Les. My brother-in-law. Oh, hi, Les. No, hi, Les. <laughs> Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi. All and right. my sister, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hi, Les. And the family are very much in the same business? Same kind uh, of thing? Yes, we are. We are a family of bankers. <laughs> bankers. 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 <laughs> right. Three, yep. of, three of us work for banks. Oh, right. Yes. Right. Whoa, what a, what a feeling of power I've got here. <laughs> uh, yeah. For the first time in my life, I've got bankers coming to ask me for money. <laughs> swinging, All right. swinging bankers. Great, that's the families. We hope that you're ready to play at home as we play Family Fortunes. <laughs> hey, Eddie, meet Alison. Hello, All right, as always, 100 people have been surveyed in the game. You want to put one arm, arm behind your back? We asked uh, 100 people, top six answers, to name something you might see at a circus. Nice. Alison. Lions. Lions. Let's have a look for the lions. It's there, but there are two more popular ones. Eddie. I'll go for clowns. Clowns. If clown is there on his top one or two, then you have control of the board. Clown to steal the control. <laughs> yes, it's the top answer. Yay! What do you want to do? Play. Play. Rejoin the family and no conferring. So, Marlene, what's it like living with a bank manager? Oh, he's very tight with his money, Les. Is he? <laughs> By the way, I'm going to ask the questions. You can't ask me any questions because you'll only charge me for it at the end of the month. <laughs> no, you don't charge. All right, Marlene, what do you think? Something you might see at a circus? Elephants. Elephants. <laughs> it's answer number two. Well played. And you have a prize, Marlene. Let's see if it's a car. And you won't need the car for this. You're flying off on a weekend to the city of love. We're talking Paris. <laughs> Whoa. Great. You are going to take him, uh, I trust. Well, I will now. You will now. <laughs> Hiya, Mary. Hi, Liz. Tell me a bit about yourself. What do you do? 
Um, I'm an entertainments manager for a British holiday company. Oh yeah? I am. Hey de hey. I think you get that all you get that all the time. I do, yes. yeah. Because I yes. get I go down the street and all I get from people behind me is going, eh. eh. <laughs> yeah, I do get a lot of hi de hi. Do you? And yeah. any interesting stories when you were working as a holiday camp? Um, well when I first started, we got our accommodation and we get caravans and they are quite small and the bedrooms are extremely small. The double bed that had just filled the room and one day I went in, jumped on the bed, fell down the side and got stuck there until somebody actually come round to see me and moved the bed out of the way. So I was stuck down the side of the was bed. Was it Peggy? Did Peggy, <laughs> Peggy came round as, I want to be a yellow coat. Was the entertainment manager. All right, Mary, what do you think? Uh, trapeze. Trapeze. Yes, answer number six, two people said it. Yeah. You're a bank manager as well? I am a bank manager. Yes, you I'm a bank manager, manager. yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and what about hobbies? Do you have any? Uh, I like Star Trek. Me and my wife, well, I dress up anyway, so I try to get her to dress up, but she won't do it. You've got the Star Trek gear yeah, on there, haven't you? All right, Jeff, what do you think? Ringmaster. The Ringmaster. <laughs> yes, well played, Jeff. You got a prize as well, Steve? Yes, Jeff, you're off on a super sleuth weekend at the Harrogate Hotel, which was made famous during Agatha Christie's mysterious disappearance. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no trackies yeah, there, yeah, but yeah, you'll have yeah, to get yeah. the old deer stalker out. You will be excited with that, then. <laughs> <laughs> you might get murdered. You might get murdered. <laughs> you might get murdered. <laughs> so how did you two meet? Uh, on a blind date, Liz. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, look, we've got our Jeff and our Ellen. So have you come back to tell us how you got on? I have, Liz. <laughs> how did you get on? Fine. Yeah. Went uh, with a swing. All right, Helen, what do you think? Um, the high wire. The high wire. So, we've lost a life. It's always hard when there's just one left. Eddie. Keep on stilts. Good thinking, but not there. The Mackenzies might get a chance to steal. Get your heads together, Marlene. No conferring, folks. Tigers. Tigers. No. So, the Mackenzies, a chance to steal. Paul. Acrobats. Lad. Acrobats. Cassandra. Jug jugglers. Jugglers. Phil. The marquee. The marquee itself. It's, um, oh, yeah, yeah, it could be. Trevor. Big top. The big top, which is the marquee. Alison? Acrobats. Acrobats. Which one are you going to go with? Acrobats. Great. If acrobats is one, is the missing answer, then you have the money in the bank. We're looking for acrobats. <laughs> it isn't there, so the parsonages. You're 92 pounds in the black. <laughs> but I'm going to charge you interest. I'm going to invest it. All right, how are you going to invest it? All right, answer number five on something you might see at a circus is... The big top, which we said over that side, but it wasn't the one you went with. So, let's play round two. <laughs> Marley, meet Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Top seven answers. We asked 100 people to name someone who's famous for wearing outrageous outfits. Trevor. Lord Such. Screaming Lord, Lord Such. Such from the Raven Looney Party. Screaming Lord Such. <coughs> no, Marley. Dame Edna. What a lovely answer to Dame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a lovely little answer we got there from Marley. <laughs> We're looking for our little Antipodean friend, Dame Edna. Yes, it's yes. second popular answer. What are you going to do? Play, play. Hey, Reassuring hey. your family, no conferring. The Mackenzies think of some answers. So, what do you think, Mary? Uh, Lily Savage. Lily Savage, the old scouser. We're looking for Lily Savage. <coughs> Good thinking, but not there. So, Jeff. Danny LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> 45 years in the business, man and girl. <laughs> Danny LaRue. <laughs> yes, it's there. It's answer number seven. All right, Helen. Um, Julian Cleary. Yeah. Hello, Panthers. We're looking for Julian. <laughs> Top yes. answer, well played, Helen. <laughs> Four answers to find, Eddie. Wasn't that chap Quinton Crisp? Quinton Crisp. Crisp. Quentin. Quentin, Quentin Crisp. Crisp. <laughs> Two <laughs> lives have gone. Good thinking, but not there, so the Mackenzies might get a chance to steal Marlene. Can't quite think of his name, but what's the man who wears the funny hats at the races and <laughs> whatever his name is? Uh, I'll give you that. We know yeah. John McCrerick, isn't it? That's John the one, McCrerick. yes. <laughs> Not there, so it means we go over to the Mackenzies with a chance to steal. Paul? Madonna. Madonna? Cassandra? Madonna. Madonna? Phil? Mr. M. Mr. Motivator. Mr. Motivator. Yeah. Trevor? Mr. Motivator. Mr. Motivator. Alison? Madonna. Let's see if Madonna is there to get the money. Madonna! 
Answer cock. <laughs> and answer number four is boy George. Answer number three, oh, Gary oh, Glitter. Oh, Let's play on round three. Oh, Mary Meat Phil. <laughs> Top seven answers. We asked a hundred people to name something you do once a year. <laughs> Phil. Celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Christmas. <laughs> yes, it's a top answer. What are you gonna do? Play. Play. Play, rejoin, no conferring. So, Cassandra, you're a student. Yes. What are you studying? Psychology. Oh my God. Because, <laughs> like people, psychologists, they like they study people's like yes. body language and mm. things, and like can tell what kind of character they yeah. are. Can you tell anything about well, me? Well, you look like kind of a well-balanced kind of guy. Are you a Libra by any chance? I, yes? I am a Libra. Yeah. Oh. How did you guess that? I read it in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Something you do once a year? Um, celebrate New Year. All right, we've got Christmas. Now we're going into New Year. Yes, have a New Year party. We all like certainly do. Okay, Paul, have you got an answer for me? A uh, birthday. A birthday. Birthday celebration is answer number two. All right, Alison. Yeah, anniversary. Anniversary. Good one, but not there, so one life has gone. Trevor, you've got an ambition, haven't you? Yes. What to, is it? To get on to Gladiators. Yeah? Yeah. And you've, you've actually gone down that road and you, you, you're doing quite well, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've tried out. This is the second time I've tried out, and I'm um, just waiting now. If you were a Gladiator, what would your name be? Slug. Slug. <laughs> slug. Yeah. Okay, Slug. Something you do once a year. Buy a new car. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the parsonages might get a chance to steal. How are you doing, Phil? All right, Les. Okay. He looks like uh, Max Farnham oh, on Brookside. <laughs> Just not right there, Max. See, lads. <laughs> Do you want your windows cleaned? <laughs> He's been a naughty boy, hasn't he, Les? He's been Just a naughty lately, boy, yeah. 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 Well, he won't be by like the time me. we go out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Phil, uh, tell me, what do you do for a living? Uh, primary school teacher, Les. Primary school yeah. teacher? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you must uh, have some interesting stories with the kids. A little girl wrote an essay the other day, and she put, Mr Johnson thinks he's smart dribbling footballs around nine-year-old boys, and he's 68, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, she had you down as 68, did yeah. you? Not very nice. All right. Uh, Phil, what do you think? Uh, go on holiday, Les. You go on holiday once a year? <laughs> yes, well played. That's the number three is holiday. And you get yourself a prize as well, Steve. And that's exactly what you're doing. You've won a week's narrowboat holiday for four on the scenic Midland waterways. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Cassandra, what do you think? Um, flip pancakes, pancake day. Pancake day. You yeah. flip the pancakes on Shrove Tuesday. <coughs> so we have now the three lives lost and the parsonages a chance to steal. Helen. Boxing day. Boxing day. Jeff. My yearly nuptials. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, are you sure you did right on this blind date? You're a once a year man, are you, Jeff? Yeah. If I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> if he's lucky. <laughs> Mary? Uh, Easter. Easter? That's when he finishes. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, Eddie? Renew your overdraft facility. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you going to go with? Valentine's Day. If it's there, you have the money in the bank. If not, it goes to the Mackenzie's. We're looking for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so it means the Mackenzie's. Well done. You win the money. Answer number seven on something you do once a year is... Take the wife out. <laughs> Nearly there, Jeff. <laughs> Answer number six is... We obviously, obviously surveyed two bank managers. <laughs> and the fourth most popular answer on something you do once a year is... Make resolutions and break them 365 days of the year. Right, it means that at the halfway stage, the parsonages have £92 in the bank, the Mackenzies have £143. Join us in a couple of minutes when one of our families will be playing for £5,000 and the car. We'll see you then.
welcome back. So, which of our two families are going to play for the £5,000 and the car? Will it be the parsonages from Surrey, who'll have a weekend in Paris, a mystery weekend and £92 in the bank? Or will it be the Mackenzies, who, from Staffordshire, have a narrow boat, holiday and £143? Let's see now as we play Double Money. <laughs> OK, Jeff. Meet Cassandra. OK, top five answers in this first double money game. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. We asked 100 people to name a kind of number people memorise. Cassandra. Seven. We're looking for a kind of number people memorise. Jeff. Address. The house number is the <laughs> second most... Yeah. Play, rejoin your family, no conferring on it. The Mackenzies think of some answers. Helen. Telephone. Telephone number. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a top answer. Well played. <laughs> Three answers to find. Eddie. Can't get away from banking. Your pin number. A pin number. Yes, yeah. answer number three. Well played. Marlene, we've got two answers to find and all lives intact. Emergency numbers. An emergency number. Let's have a look. <coughs> Lose a life on that. Mary. Birth date. OK. Your, your birth date. <laughs> yes, well You've got yourself a prize as well, Steve. What have we got? Yes, it's the very latest in audio technology. You've won this mini hi-fi with multi-CD. <laughs> Excellent. Jeff. The anniversary is the answer. <laughs> the anniversary? Yeah, yeah. OK, anniversary date. He remembers that one. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the Mackenzies might get a chance to steal. Helen. Um, account number. Account number. <coughs> so, the Mackenzies, it relies on this answer. If you can find that missing one, which is always difficult when there's one, you're playing big money. Paul? Uh, national insurance number. National insurance number, Cassandra? Car registration number. Registration number, Phil? Somebody's age. Age? Children's birthdays. Children's birthdays, Alison? National insurance number. Which one are you going to go with? National insurance number. We're looking for national insurance number. No! <laughs> Back in! Okay. Answer number four on a kind of number people uh, memorise is... Oh. Car registration number. Cassandra said that. Let's play on. <laughs> OK, Helen, meet Paul. Hi, Helen. Hi. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name something you like with a match. <laughs> Helen. Cigarette. A cigarette. <laughs> Top answer. Check with your family what you want to do. No. <laughs> Rejoin, no conferring. So, Eddie. Fire. Fire. You light the fire. <laughs> Is answer number three. Well played. Marlene, two answers to find. The burner on a gas cooker. OK, you light the gas cooker with a match. <laughs> no, very often it's self-lighting, isn't it? Mary. Does a bomb fire? OK. We're looking for a bonfire to save that life. <coughs> Two lives have gone, and that means the Mackenzies might get a chance to steal. Jeff? Candle, Les. A candle, OK, to save. On that one night, you light a candle, do you, Jeff? <laughs> that one night a year, that special night. I've only had one so far. So... <laughs> <laughs> a candle! <Yeah>. Yes! <laughs> well done. <laughs> Helen, if you find this missing answer, you're playing big money. Cigar. Cigar. <coughs> Once again, this depends on this answer. <coughs> Who's playing big money? Paul. A uh, pipe. A pipe. Fire, firework. 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 Phil? Firework. Trevor. Pipe. 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 Alison. Firework. Which one are you going to go with? Firework. You said firework. Our survey said. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Fireworks for the parsonages. They're playing big money. Congratulations. Sadly, we lose the Mackenzie family. You are a lovely family. You're going back to the Staffordshire area with a narrow boat holiday and £143. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Very much, Les. You've been great. Before you go, we'll tell you what that missing answer, number four, is. Something you like with a match is... Oh. Oh. Pipe. You didn't go with it, sadly. Okay. You were great, though. The Mackenzies. Thank you. OK, Eddie, who's playing big money? Helen and Jeff. Helen and Jeff, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> hey, Helen.
Helen, you're going to play first. Jeff, go and put the headset on, listen to some music. We'll call you back when we've had Helen's answers. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Yes, please. Good luck. Can I have 15 seconds on the clock, please? <phone rings> Name something that takes a long time to cook. Chicken. An alcoholic drink used in cooking. Wine. A girl's name beginning with the letter A. Anne. A famous British golf course. Troon. Something found in a makeup bag. Lipstick. Yes, well played. <laughs> All right, you did well there. Good answers. 200 points between the two of you will get you the £5,000, and the five top answers that are flashing will get you the car as well. Mm -hmm. Something that takes a long time to cook. You said chicken, our survey said <coughs> nothing for chicken. Um, an alcoholic drink used in cooking. You said wine, our survey said. 26 is our top answer. That's made up for the chicken. <laughs> Cocker van. Cocker van, is that what you were thinking? Mm. So you've got a, probably a dish that we're looking for. A girl's name beginning with the letter A. You said. And our survey said. 58. Well played. We've got two top answers. A famous British golf course. You said. Royal Troon, our survey said. <coughs> nothing for Troon. We've got 58. Finally, something found in a makeup bag. You said. Lipstick, our survey said. <laughs> 32. Three top answers and two strikes. We've got 90 points. Good scoring. Rejoin your family. We'll clear the board and we'll bring Jeff back. <laughs> OK, Jeff. Helen's done well. She's got 90 points and found three of the top answers. So there are two to find, and if you find that and get the 200 points, then you have the money and the car. But you can't have the car without the 200 points. 20 seconds to answer the same five questions, and if you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had from Helen, and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? A little closer to the mic. Good luck. Name something that takes a long time to cook. Pie. An alcoholic drink used in cooking. Wine. Another. Brandy. A girl's name beginning with the letter A. Alison. A famous British golf course. Glen Eagles. Something found in a makeup bag. Mascara. All right, well played. <laughs> we need 110. And everybody who deposits money in your bank is thinking, he wears mascara. He knew straight away <laughs> what was in his makeup bag. Right, we've got 110 to find. Something that takes a long time to cook. You said pie. To keep us online for the car, we need this to flash. You said pie, our survey said? <coughs> Nothing for pie. Hard luck. We can't get the car, but as we always say, the car is a bonus. We can still go for the £5,000. The top answer was stew. Oh. And worth 30 points. Right, an alcoholic drink used in cooking. You said? Brandy, we'd already had the top answer. You said brandy, our survey said? <coughs> 20, we've got 110. <laughs> we can do this. A girl's name beginning with the letter A. You said, Alison. Again, we'd already had the top answer. You said, Alison. Our survey said, <laughs> 11. We've got 121. 79 we need. A famous British golf course. You said, Glen Eagles. Our survey said, <laughs> 18 people <laughs> said Glen Eagles. The top answer there was the other Scottish one, St Andrews. Something found in a makeup bag. You said, Mascara, our survey said <coughs> nothing for mascara. Actually, I'd, I'd, obviously, we'd already had the top answer 32 lipstick, so we knew we couldn't get it, all right? Never mind. 139, we're going to double that. We add it to the family fortune you've already got, which gives you a parsonage family fortune of £744. <laughs> you've also got the Paris weekend, the mini hi fi, and the mystery weekend. So it's been a good day, isn't it? Good day, good day. All right? At the close of the day in the bank, it's not been a bad day for the parsonages. We'll see you next week. Bye.